it is Leap Day 2020, and I am here at the Anaheim Fries Electronics, a store that is prominently displayed from the 91, but famously difficult to figure out how to get to from the 91 without directions. This store is closing this weekend, and a few weeks ago, the good boys at Podcast The Ride did a Patreon-exclusive episode about this chain, with special attention paid to this store, uh, in part because Scott remade a video that is displayed within this store. What this guy got to do, essentially, is my dream. Mm -hmm. This is a pre-ride video right. that plays in a really specific location <laughs> all day, constantly on a loop. And it can only be seen at the Anaheim Fries. It's, it feels so much like the Warburton Soren intro or something. Mm -hmm. um, and I just love that this is there. It's exactly my dream. Like you go into some boring store and there's a video that plays that is only there. Uh, and the only thing I don't like about it is that I'm not in it. <laughs> I am so jealous of this. I I really want to be in, in this video. Yeah. So uh -oh. here, here's what I did. You put yourself in the video. I put myself in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and the store was gracious enough in its final weekend to play Scott's version of the video. So PTR fans are congregating on this Fry's Electronics in what will probably be the busiest day it's seen in a while. So let's check it out. I'm not gonna do a full overview of the Fry's Electronics chain because the good boys did that just fine on their own, but to briefly go over the basics, Fry's Electronics is a chain of electronics stores with fun, weird theming, and an interesting selection of wares. Mario's Nose is Missing was the lower stakes sequel. This is the one chain where I believe this was actually on VHS. Every one of these looks like something Tracy Jordan was in in 30 Rock. <laughs> and then just shelves full of porn. They also have a mascot named Charlie Chip, a fact I did not know until hearing the episode. The Anaheim Fries in particular was NASA themed with shuttles and space stuff all around. And a year ago, Scott Gardner discovered this little pre-show video there in a rocket display. Welcome to Mission Control. We need you on our team. Your role as our new flight director means that you are directly in command of today's space shuttle launch. Our launch sequence has begun, so prepare to press that red button directly in front of you and proceed with mission STS-10. Good luck. Have a good flight. When? Then you push the button, but even if you don't push the button, the launch just happens anyway, so it's exactly as interactive as Mission Space. Scott, ever an aficionado of theme park pre-show videos, took matters into his own hands and shot a 4K remake of the video. Welcome to Mission Control. We need you on our team. Your role as our new flight director puts you directly in command of today's space shuttle launch. Our launch sequence has begun, so prepare to press that red button directly in front of you and proceed to Mission STS-10. Good luck! and have a good flight. And the fans gathered to persuade Fry's to have them play Scott's version. A fan named Kevin DM'd Billy at Fry's help with an earnest letter of support for the idea. Then the news came out that the Anaheim store would be closing, and it seemed like all hope was lost. Until the news came that for the final weekend, the Fry's Electronics in Anaheim would indeed feature Scott's version of the video. And a gathering was scheduled for February 29th, 2020. That's right. 20 years to the day after the release of the direct-to-DVD sequel of a Goofy movie. I arrived at the store and came face-to-face -face with the Launch Your Own Shuttle shuttle, and within moments I heard a familiar voice. Yes. Mission freaking accomplished. The video was playing on a loop on the big projector screens around the store and the small screens in the shuttle. Gradually, the fans started to gather, including Kevin and his family, who brought treats for everybody. His son Soren was even dressed for the occasion. Soren, you're flying so well. I haven't heard of any warning lights or or anything. You're doing fantastic. And Billy from Fry's Help was there to welcome us. Soon the man himself arrived. It is possible. It can come true. <laughs> Very good to meet you. 
Wow. Sorry, yeah. come on down. <laughs> well, I don't know where it is now. That's the question. I feel I saw proof that it was playing earlier, and I, I don't know what's going on. Thank you all so much for coming. This is this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, it's Billy. You don't know, Billy's the person who made this happen. But yeah, it looks great. It's so clear. Hey, it looks great. It works. Hey, it works. Uh, what was, can I ask you, what was your feeling when this initially came up when you first became aware of this? Oh, it's exciting. I mean, like, great, great. You took an interest in the theme. That's, that's, that's all we can ask for. Wow. I spent a lot of time on this thing. Wow. Here, come on, come gather up. All right. Ready. And Yes! <laughs> On multiple screens! <laughs> wow! Two! One! <laughs> There you have it. Scott, you are, you are finally officially a launch king. <laughs> I am, I'm a launch king! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for pointing this out. I actually, I am, wow, wow. I actually, I prepared a few words. This seems like probably the time. And I'm gonna have to compete with my own voice here. Um, this is now I'm cursed to have to yell over myself. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, mission accomplished. Woo! I'm so honored that you all came out today. You know, a year ago, my wife Erin and I stood in this very spot and we watched a video that played on this very screen and we pushed this very red button. And then we went to Carthay Circle, drank a bunch of Manhattans, <laughs> and I had a drunken dream. <laughs> a dream where this video starred not a guy who is not me, but rather me. <laughs> and today I look at that screen, and as soon as our friend Charlie Chip is gone, it's going to be me again. And the reason it happened is because of all of you and your requests for Billy. Uh, 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 Billy, the, the man who made this all possible. Uh, um, and I, I want to thank uh, some other, I want to say something about Fry's Anaheim right now. As you may have heard, this store is closing in two days. Boo, I know, I know. Uh, and I, I can't think of a better way to make them go out, a better note for them to go out on. And as you guys know, Tomorrowland in Disneyland has been a total shit show since <laughs> So the only coherent space theming in Anaheim for many decades is the Woo! space theming in this great city. You know, today makes me realize something. They said a small town podcaster couldn't become the astronaut in an electronic store right before it closes. <laughs> but then, I, but now I know that this is possible, and anything is possible as long as you dream in 4K. <laughs> uh, you know, folks, if we can light up an electronic store, we can light up a neighborhood, and if we can light up a whole neighborhood, we can light up our country. Isn't that right? Yeah. Woo! Yes. Uh, and Billy, I want to say something to you, per an audience suggestion, uh, we have decided to make you an official Podcast the Ride legend. Yes! yes. yes. We're all giving out honor. Thank you so much for making all this possible. Uh, and folks, uh, I just have a great time. Explore the store. Uh, uh, drink a peachy Paul and mango if that's still possible. <laughs> Make one at home. <laughs> Welcome to Mission Control. I'm so proud to have you on our team. Fries! 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 Fries!
one more time. Okay, let me just get it. Whoever, whoever, uh, uh, this just seems like a good photo op. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass the baton to you one day if I can. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> look over here. There you go. Uh, Uh, all right, folks, uh, enjoy the store and make everybody come up and press the red button for yourself. Make sure you do it. All right. <laughs> Since there's more of you here now, as promised, there are treats. So there's caramels or tea cakes. Come and help yourself. <laughs> and for the employees of Fries, we have uh, a cake to help them celebrate their last weekend here. <laughs> We want to let you know, thank you, Fries. You give us strength. <laughs> 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 this is you know what your flat rate situation was. So. Wow, I can't thank you enough. Thank Enjoy. You. Wow. They're going to wow. appreciate this. Yeah. 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 Apologies for Clue. Happy to take you out on, on, on a high note. <laughs> and and uh, may the rest of the locations thrive and the rest of the theming thrive. Totally. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> And shortly after Scott's speech, another special guest arrived. So we all waited to have our picture taken with the good boys and Charlie Chip, our favorite character that we didn't even know about a few weeks prior. Wow, wow. That poor employee was told like five minutes ago, oh, put the God. costume on. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> Questions, uh, comments, uh, reviews. You <laughs> <laughs> go to Q&A. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, there, there are you moving to the right? There are unconfirmed rumors. <laughs> things I don't want to speak to officially. Uh, I don't want to count chickens before they've hatched. But it is possible that the video will be moving to a store in Webster, Texas. It's possible. But it depends. This already is beyond <laughs> what I've dreamed. Yeah. So, I mean, down to the wire, two days to go. I, you know, the, the, the drama of this, if you've all been watching this drama unfolds, <laughs> hopefully you felt it as much as me and had your hearts pumping as much as me. But, uh, wow, down the wire. We made it. We made it. Uh, you know, they're playing Mad Fox Community Snakes. Which is a song I heard from late yesterday while I was working on Burbank Hall. Now, is you is like writing working, or did you get a job in the <laughs> <laughs> Everyone sign up for the Patreon. <laughs> Any victory plans? Victory plans. Uh, I mean, you know, looping it back around for Carthay Manhattan is certainly <laughs> tempting. Uh, I, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to see where the day takes us. There's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this 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 came out of. Uh, Dumb board expeditions with Aaron in Orange County, and I think we're going to have one of those today. Uh, uh, you know, it's just fun to throw, throw caution to the wind, see where things take you. And look at us now. We did this a year ago, and you know, I, you know, it was a crew of two back then, and now it's a crew of dozens. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we're, we're off to plan the next great adventure, I think. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. We just went to the one yesterday in Ventura County, which is unthemed. Oh. Oh. Boo! Why is this the one 
it's getting punished. <laughs> <laughs> it officially voted number one. It's not fair. Well, that's not fair. Uh, Charlie, I hope you end up finding it. <laughs> if, if you purchase anything in the store, I have Sharpies, and I'll leave Mike and Jason on it. Mike and Jason and I will sign anything that you buy, as long as you buy it first. <laughs> we hung out a bit more with the boys and our fellow fans, and then a brilliant idea was hatched. This is a rare opportunity maybe to fill up the presentation room. room. Yeah. I'm used to taking photos of just Scott in the presentation room. <laughs> Unfortunately, the presentation room was already closed off to the public, but Billy saved the day again. So Billy personally escorted us to the presentation room in a big shuttle in the taped off back of the store. And we all got into our seats. Fill in all the available space. It's all weirdly. I don't know. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Pull on the yellow strap. Yeah. Yeah. Fellas. Then we all posed for Aaron's picture. Everybody act natural. <laughs> <laughs> there. I'm almost visible in it. Then the boys gave us an impromptu live show. Suggestions. <laughs> yeah, because we need so much time to prepare for the show. <laughs> Did you go? What have you been on today? I have only done Guardians of the Galaxy today. Okay. <laughs> Which might be my favorite ride in Disneyland. Wow. 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 Yeah. IP be damned. Uh, I have a I have a question though. When you got in there, yeah, and uh, do, or did you have the same difficulties that that a raccoon faced? <laughs> <laughs> did things plan out pan out differently for you? Uh, if you're asking, <laughs> did my hand scan? <laughs> they did, in fact. Yeah. I would like to. Does everyone have? Does anyone have a Blu-ray? <laughs> <laughs> I can throw Disney Plus. Can we mirror Disney? <laughs> the projector's already been transferred out. Of Aww. <laughs> Only live shows can be done. Wait, I, wait. Maybe questions. Uh, a question for you. Do you have a favorite theme of, of any of the stores? Oh, it's, that's tough. It's between Burbank and. San Marcos. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> San Marcos. Yes, you convinced me to San Marcos. San Marcos was, was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this one's good too, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what do you yeah, think? Yeah. 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 Uh, do you know why the theme? Do you know what inspired that? Theme? This one in particular, I believe, don't quote me on this. Uh, it was because this building was formerly used to make space shuttle parts or something what? like that. Whoa. Oh. Uh, and something to, to that degree. Or there was something in the area that did that, so we mm. in homage to it. Uh, wow. They designed wow. this as a NASA thing. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The Webster, of course, is also space thing. You know, mm. Houston, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. so with like Burbank, it's like old movies. Is that because of the industry, film industry? Yeah, you know, it was the book, the B movies, like you mentioned, right, in the podcast. Yeah. It's, oh, sure. Uh, is the and the one Woodland, Woodland Hills is closing? Uh -huh. But why that? Uh, like Lewis oh, Carroll theme? Mm -hmm. I actually There's don't know why they there. picked that. I just know that they've always been big. They're big Disney fans. And of right. course, Alice in Wonderland, it's Lewis Carroll. There's no control over the IP after 100 years or whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Which is why they're all themed to be the Lewis. They're not, they don't look like Disney Alice in Wonderland. Right. Yeah. It looks like Lewis Carroll, which is a slightly scarier. But yes. that's what yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 right. right. yeah. ether fuel <laughs> 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 We actually added it to smoke, but I think it might have just uh, ran out of smoke juice. So I think it's... <laughs> but yeah, if you're there long enough, he'll say something. Mm -hmm. Like, who are you? He'll say that line. Yeah. And the smoke will come out of the cat. Wow. I haven't That's seen great. it in a while, so I don't know if it's still working or not. But it's, I can let you guys know. It's kind of a botanicus. appearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With smoke involved. Um, in this, the effort to do this, to get the video up for the last weekend, you had to talk to... And at one of the fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Mr. Fry like? <laughs> it's great. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's three of them. Okay. Run the company. Fries. Okay. Yeah. I, I asked the Randy Fry, and he was he was a go for it. You know, it's just like yeah, let's, if it can be done. And of course, we didn't want to jeopardize the whole astronaut video. Like, you know, erase oh. it. But then we found out it was a DVD. So. Wait, so, uh, uh, filling us in on this, the, the person in the video before 
still works at the store. Yeah, though he's a uh, he's like our video guy, so he does a lot oh. of our. He would do our commercials. He would do. And he's wow. at the home office. His name is Jim. And, uh, Jeez. Yeah, he got. He got. Yeah, he's he's cool. He's cool. He's been forever. Twenty years plus. Is he mad at Scott now? <laughs> Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think he was actually. Uh, he was actually like glad about it. Like he was. He was uh, I can't think of the word right now. Flattered. Flattered. Thank you. Sure. He was flattered. He's like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like, you did you nailed it. <laughs> I just wanted to do exactly that. I didn't want to, you know, totally. Uh, Don't get flashy. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to be like Joaquin and totally have a new jumper. <laughs> <laughs> that part helped for sure. If you, yeah, if you played in Joaquin Phoenix, <laughs> sure, yes, yeah, yeah, that would not have gone well. Um, if I, if yeah. I shot someone in the face, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, we can't have them. Yeah, that probably couldn't be played. Just censor it. Wow, jeez. Well, thank you so yeah. much for it. This is just weird. We're meeting you in front of a, a sudden audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, happy to have all of you here. Thank you, and jeez. thank you for the support. Of Abs course. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Screening room, let's <laughs> head back into the store. Wow. On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> we all hung out for a bit afterwards, and I tried to find something for the boys to sign that was appropriately weird, but also in my price range. I found Funko Pops with filthy water damaged boxes, priced at $4.50, but they actually cost $10, bucks, but still. So I chose one of Cyborg as a reference to another Second Gate episode. We walk into the next room, and there's a, a big Cyborg, the character Cyborg animatronic, mm -hmm. um, which is cool to see. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's sort of explaining to you what's going to happen. And then about a minute into his his uh, his speech, uh, he he breaks down. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> he breaks down, and uh, we ju we hear we hear reset reset reset. reset. We hear re reset reset. Like that a human voice, a right? Human, not yeah. like it's not like a cyborg's father saying reset or something. <laughs> right. It's not themed. It's, not a, it's just an employee being like, "Oh shit, okay, reset." Yep, <laughs> just a filthy box <laughs> Funko Pop of the animatronic that broke down on you. I was gonna say that's a good reference. Yeah, that's why you bought it. I love how we're all able to find references here. This is insane. I love it. Like very easily. He just broke down and then the door opened. <laughs> that's all it took. Eventually, I had to leave, but I knew I couldn't go without interacting with the fake interactivity myself. We have Mission accomplished. Thank you, Fry's Electronics, for this inexplicable fun time. In the world of chain stores, you are truly one of a kind.